part correlation or semi partial correlation either it's called part correlation or semi partial correlation this correlation type of correlation is different from partial correlation I've had already made a video clip describing partial correlation in this one I'm going to describe the semi partial correlation or part correlation it's a test used to find out correlation between two variables in which the effect of a third variable is only controlled on one of the variable i.e. if you have two variables variable number one and variable number two and you want to do a correlation between variable number one and variable number two at the same time you have a third variable and you want to exclude the effect of the third variable on only either the variable number one or the variable number two but not both if it is both then it is partial correlation semi partial correlation the effect of the third variable is hold constant on, on only one of the variables so the test uses regression analysis to calculate the coefficient and for a data to be used to analyze it and find the correlation it has to fulfill certain assumptions and criteria you need to make sure that your variables are continuous variables the three variables are continuous variables which mean intervals or ratio those variables are normally distributed you need also pre doing the analysis to plot a scatter plot to look at the linear relationship between all variable or variables so linearity linearity of the relationship is an important factor and those variable there should be no outliers and the variables you want to hold constant can be one or more than one semi partial correlation or in another word part correlation semi partial correlation is different from partial correlation i have already described partial correlation between two variable variables in a separate video clip here in this video I will only describe how to do semi partial correlation or part correlation the, this correlation is test is a parametric test the test examine the correlation between two variable when the effect of a third variable is hold or is held constant or removed on one of the variables one or two so if you have one variable compared to uh, another variable variable two and you have a third variable then you correlate variable one with variable two and uh, remove the effect of variable three in, on one of the variable either variable one or variable two to do the test the data has to be normally distributed the data has to be continuous the data has to uh, has to have a linear relationship variable one and variable two have a linear, linear relationship and there is no outliers in the data so the way to do it in spss here i have a data 
three different data, three different variables, variables labeled as data one, data five, and data six. And I want to do a semi partial correlation between data number one and data number five. And at the same time, I want to hold the effect of data number six constant on one of this, the variable, in this case on variable six. So the way to do semi-partial correlation is to click on analyze and we are going to use a regression analysis to perform this parametric test. Here in this uh, box, I am going to move the data into the dependent variable and I'm going to correlate data with data one with data five and uh, move also data six into the independent. So data five and data six will be an independent variables, move them to the independent variable. On the statistics box, I'm going to take on a box that say part and partial correlation so uh, the software will uh, calculate both the part and partial correlation and I click on OK plot I'm not going to make any changes and options no changes here what I'm asking the computer uh, software and the program in space is to Correlate data one with data five and at the same time remove the effect of data six on only data five and not on both one and five. So if I click on OK, the SPSS will generate an output and in this output regression outputs the more the most important table is the table labeled correlation again and toward the end here we have in the table the correlations coefficient using zero order partial correlation and part correlation for our topic today this is the important part of the table in this table we can see that correlation between data number one and data number five when we remove the effect of data six on data five or held holding the effect of data six on five constant the association between data one and data five is minus 0.605. So there is a negative relationship and this negative relationship is, it is uh, moderate and it is significant as the p-value is less than 0.05. So this table has calculated the correlation coefficient part correlation coefficient for a uh, variable one and variable five holding variable six effect on five constant for compare co com for correlating variable one with variable six meanwhile holding the effect of variable five on six constant the correlation coefficient was calculated and it is 0.174 this is a weak positive correlation though it is statistically significant at as the p-value is less than 0.05 and it is 0.023 here so correlating data partial semi-partial correlation between data number one and data six controlling the effect of five on six the coefficient value is 0.174 so in this 
way I had shown you how to do semi partial correlation between two variable variable one and variable five simultaneously controlling the effect of a third variable on only one of the variable five not variable the data five and not data one again the same thing here partial semi partial correlation between two variable variable number one and variable number six and holding the effect of uh, variable five constant or uh, and or constant or removing the effect of uh, variable five on six but not on variable one so this is the way to do semi partial correlation between two variables uh, simultaneously holding the a third variable effect constant on one of the variables